Okay, so now in my circuit, what I've got, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here, is I've got my positive, I've got my battery source, right? and I have my little terminal block, so I've got my positive and negative, and this time I'm going to have two fans. So you should have two fans in your kit. You also can do this activity with a fan and one of the LED lights. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook these guys up in series with one another, which means that the same current is going to flow through both of my fans. Okay. So let's wire this up. So I've got my current flowing out of my battery pack. It's going to flow from the red into this side of my terminal block. What I'm going to do is plug one of my red fans into the other side to connect it so that my two reds are connected. Now that current's going to flow through red, through red, through red into my fan. Now it's going to flow back out through the negative. So what I want to do is I'm going to connect that to my positive side of my fan. Okay. If you did it the other way, all will happen is that your fans will spin in different directions, so nothing bad. So you can twist it together, or if you have another terminal block, you can just terminal block them together. You just have to make sure that you get the wires stuck in there pretty quick, pretty nice and tight so that they don't come out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to turn this off um, just so that when my fans come on, I will have my hands out of the way. And again, these don't hurt. And I'm going to stick my negative side back in. So now let's follow my circuit. Red current, the current flows through the red. It's going to flow through the fan number one, flow through my black, and I flow then it from that wire into the positive side of my fan, and it's going to flow back in, and it's going to go back into my battery. So again, there's a single path for the current to flow, or a single loop. So I've made a series circuit. So now, if I turn my fans on, and my power on, my fan should spin. Okay. Now, the way that you know that you also have this in the series is, let's say I got my fans on, if I simply pull out a wire, both of them is going to stop. Right? Because I broke the circuit. So that means now I put, basically put in an infinite resistor where I broke the wire. So the interesting challenge is, is, can I design a circuit in such a way that if I break a wire, one of my fans stays on, the other fan goes off? Because that's how our house is typically wired, right? Is that when you shoot a breaker in your living room or bathroom, it doesn't kill all the lights for your entire house. Because your house is wired not in a series, it's wired in something called a parallel circuit. And so that way that if something breaks, it doesn't take out all the circuits at once.